Got my machine honed in. I'm, I'm doing good, guys. Big adventure today. Back out here with Mike. Yeah, we're back, guys. And we're going to look for, uh, this is a camp that we've uh, detected before. Yeah. And done really well with, uh, like, musket parts and gun parts. I have and found the most ever in this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to detect this area again today. We're going to try to dig a any iron that's, like, this big. And looking for um, gun tools and all that kind of stuff. And also for those big iron canister balls. Yep. Looked at my diary that I used to keep back in the day. And on that ridge over there, we used to find a lot of canister balls, those big iron ones like we found earlier. So we're going to look up there, look down here. Got tons of stuff. It's going to be really happy. Mike's going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. Oh. You're going to be happy. And it rained yesterday, so it could help the targets. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> So I have my first signal that I decided to dig. It's kind of like a really deep iron sound. Yeah, so right in here, we'll look at it together. But what I wanted to show you was, if you look at the dirt, see these black streaks? That's actually uh, evidence of charcoal. And right here as well, often, and especially in this field, because I've done this before, that's evidence that of a fire pit where the soldiers dug a hole and they had a fire in it, whether for cooking or heating or whatever. And often when I find those in this field, there'll be bullets and different things in the bottom. And that could be down 18 inches or so. Really a little too deep for the metal detectors to pick them up. Not saying that's what I have here, but I'm real close to a fire pit because uh, a plow probably grabbed the top of it over the years and it like moved the charcoal. So I'd say probably within a 10 foot radius is probably a little fire pit in here. Might not have anything in it, but I'm pretty sure there's one here and hopefully we can find it. All right, let's just go ahead and hit that with a shovel real quick. Pretty sure it's just a chunk of iron, but I'm hoping it's going to be a gun tool or a big old canister shot. Ah, there it is. Now if you can see it, it's a piece of iron. Let's see what it is together. <gasps> what is it? All right, what we have here <laughs> is a small uh, clevis. That's what we would call a clevis. And uh, you could hook like chains together with this and different things like that. I don't know if this is going to be Civil War era uh, or not. I mean, it could be, uh, could be more farm related, but it does look like an old style. It's actually not exactly a clevis. It's not a clevis would have a would come all the way around and a bolt would go through here. Uh, to, you know, like I said, for a chain or something. So that could be off of farm equipment. It could be off of, you know, Civil War cannon. I don't know. Definitely going to save it, though. So I won't show you too many of these, but this is a big square nail. This is very typical find in a uh, Civil War camp where they were, you know, camp for a while because they had all kinds of equipment, you know, wood in here that was nailed together. Can't say for certain this is from a Civil War camp, but... It's likely because of where we're at. And well, this particular field was a camp for sure. Had a nice deep signal here, and I have a target out of the ground. And I think that might be, this might be part of a pocket knife, although I'm not 100%. No, okay, that's, that's probably a fired bullet that's really mushed. A modern bullet. Yeah, that's what that is. Now you can see the inside, that's a lead on the inside of the bullet. I thought it was the uh, end of a pocket knife, but that's definitely modern. All right, so we are on the board with our first Civil War relic, 100% uh, Civil War relic. This is a piece of artillery shell that exploded. This is a nose section. That's the groove the fuse would have come in or come down into the shell cavity right there. And this is the shell cavity where my thumb is. So. 100% artillery shell fragment, kind of small, so it's probably like a Hotchkiss, which is a small, like, uh, rifled cannon. But it's a, it's a Civil War relic, man. Dude, we didn't get skunked today. That's always a good day. I hope you can see me. There's quite a bit of dirt on the lens. So we have something in that clump that is non-ferrous. Um, so hopefully it'll be a nice Civil War item. Could be shark on shell, though. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is a modern, well, I would say technically call it a modern rifle cartridge. Smaller than 30 caliber. Uh, this could be 100 years old and um, could be 60. I don't know. It's pretty, 
pretty rusty so by rust that means a lot of oxidation on it uh, not a civil war item but it's a nice beautiful brassy sound which always should make you happy if you're in a civil war camp and there's brassy signals left makes me happy anyway just from this uh, piece of iron and you know it could be nothing but it could also be part of a ramrod you know for loading a muzzle loader uh could be like a, a center section of it that's about the right diameter um no way to say for sure just pick this up off the ground this is a spring for a hay rake i right, just kind of lay in there I'll, I'll call haul it out of the field so it doesn't get tangled up in the farmer's equipment you hear the troll train off in the distance finding lots of iron but not getting any gun tools but that's a really neat little like railroad spike that's probably that could be civil war era i mean it looks like the new ones except in miniature that's pretty much what the trains were like back then well they didn't look like the new ones but they're much smaller <laughs> nice little squeaker it is right there that could be a little coin or a button hopefully it's civil war era what do you think coin or button it's a button i can feel the shank, shank on the back and if you look you can see it right there so this is gonna be a nice little flat button could definitely be from the civil war but it may not be but the uh, confederates wore these quite a bit they didn't really have standard uniforms uh, a lot of them didn't anyway nice something iron right here and i think it might be a spoon but i have not pulled it out yet no definitely not a spoon it's another little spike Oy. oh isn't that cute oh i like it i uh, just found another spike now uh, these look like railroad spikes they really do but there wasn't a civil war railroad very close to here so i don't know what else that would be though beautiful spike though a uh, little squeaky signal there and it's out of the hole and that's it could be a button yeah that's gonna be a button back this was a civil war era button but i think the front's going to be gone it's just going to be the back on it see it looks like it's full of dirt unfortunately that happens quite often um these buttons kind of fall apart so yeah so that's the back of the button you can see the shank and uh where that dirt is there would have been a dome across there probably with an eagle on it it looks about like an eagle button but yeah that's completely gone unfortunately well the eagle is out the back i'll be quiet now when i say eagle button i mean a like a general service union army button has an eagle on it uh, they're mass produced so they don't really hold up very well unless you're in the woods or have really good soil often feels like this they'll just be the back of it the back's a lot thicker than the dome with the eagle on it found the eagle button right over there and had a nice deep signal here i just popped it out of the ground i think that's going to be a bullet i'm pretty sure have not picked it up yet oh yeah okay good that's a nice big old mini ball three groove or three ring mini ball i was looking at the end of it here to see if it was pulled but i think it's just the way it's made uh it's a nose cast it was cut off out of this the sprue was cut right here on the nose that's a nose cast quite likely confederate manufacturer the union used machines that would crank them out by the tens of thousands and the confederates were pouring molten lead in these big gang molds and they you know might have 20 of them at a time or so and they had to let them cool so it's a lot slower we have something that, uh, down in the bottom of the hole i was going to say we'll dig it together um it's iron i can see it right there i'm hoping it's a gun tool or something but <laughs> i couldn't see it when i first got the camera out probably i think it's a bolt come on there we go yeah i think so all right there's another broken off uh bolt of some sort man no gun pieces that's really strange mike found a ton of them out here well i found a couple too Hopefully we will before the day's over. Now there's dug a broken horseshoe. You can see the nail sticking out of it. Weird place to break it. Normally they break it a little further over and they're thin. So that's a hard break for that poor ho horsey. Or, or, or kind of small, isn't it? I just dug another uh, little piece of artillery shell fragment. It's not very big, but it's 100% what it is. Yesterday, Mike and I were digging and it was sleeting and cold and rainy. Feels like it's about 60 today. Something iron right here. Thought we'd look at it together. Probably horseshoe by the looks of it from here. What do you think? No, wow. That is 
part of a sickle bar more the actual teeth that cut the hay would be go in these little slots right here and go back and forth hit something pretty hard to snap like that and that's pretty serious this is kind of a weird little juju bear no idea what that might go to if it's farm related or war related or what and that's strange maybe straps went on here and then two straps down there i don't know well, I do believe we have another bullet, and it was a deep one. It was just in the bottom of the hole when I flipped it out, and I think it's right there. Pretty sure that's going to be a bullet. Oh, yeah. We have here is another 58 caliber mini ball that's been dropped. Most excellent. I just dug a nice little pistol bullet from the American Civil War. 44 caliber. I'm digging a lot of these little iron nuts, too. Could be Civil War era. Hard to say. And a little piece of chain here. Probably not Civil War, it's got like red paint on it, but it looks pretty old. Okay guys, I had to switch over to my phone because my GoPro uh, shuts off about every eight seconds and it's really annoying. Got a little find right here I want to show you. Kind of thin copper. It's probably not a button at all, is it? <laughs> all right, you know what, it might be part of a shotgun. I don't know what it is. I was thinking it might be part of a shotgun shell, but uh, just don't know. Now there's a nice little find right here. I do believe it's going to be in... Ooh, I thought it was a button back. An eagle button. Ooh, I think it's a ring. <laughs> Alright, I thought that was going to be like a button back for a eagle button, but it's some type of ring. Looks awfully small and fragile for a wedding band, but I'm not sure what that would be. Nice little find though, eh? It's an unwritten rule that uh, when a helicopter goes over, guys have to watch it. Been a lot of military planes in the air today. Uh, a couple A-10s have been circling us. Yeah, they have. Oh, here's an interesting little find. This is a... Well, it should be a screw, but it almost looks like a nail going through that piece of brass and that brass has a part that goes on a musket I do believe or a, uh, a muzzle loader I'm pretty sure that's what that is and someone stuck a nail in it for some reason stuff because that's definitely not a screw but uh, yeah it's kind of cool isn't it a little uh, camp art now this is a cool little find right here this is brass and it's actually called a bayonet scabbard tip uh, this is a uh, piece that would go on the end of a bayonet scabbard so that the uh, pointy piece wouldn't stick through. It would have another piece sticking down here called a finial that's missing. And from here on up would be leather. But that's kind of a cool little find. I like it. Maybe we'll find the whole bayonet next. I'd be really happy with that. Got my machine honed in. I'm, I'm doing good, guys. Got a cleaner bullet. Please explain what's going on with this black tar. Could that have been in an artillery shell? Didn't they put them in them sometimes? No, it's probably gunpowder. You think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that, uh, it's, it, see how it has the little, this is gonna be your Williams Clinton 3, I believe, because I think the 3 one is the little bit longer one. It has three rings on it, I believe. But it had a disc here at the base. I think they put some kind of a zinc in that inside there that would clean, right? Is that correct? Could be number one. They didn't you have think a it's disc. a one? I don't know. I, I, it's hard to say looking at it. Try. Yeah, it's probably gunpowder where they was uh, thrown away together, so it would have been like in a little puddle of gunpowder. Okay, I'll go ahead and explain that too. I told everybody <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. All right, he's right here. I showed him that bullet. He thinks it's going to be from gunpowder on it. It's got the black color on it. I told everybody I found the lead, and then I kept going up, and here's the other one I got. That's a nice oh, one. Oh, yeah, there. yeah. Yeah, so that's probably that's the, a, uh, that's the, a, the original one. Yep. Doesn't have the disc on the bottom. And early, I'm getting like little. One. I'll show them later, but I'm getting these little, little bitty. They're not much. Little blobs of lead. So oh, awesome. Yeah. Yep. Go slow, man. Excited. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. There's. It's good. Awesome, man. Yeah. Yep. There's little pieces of brick. So you think it could have been maybe some. Maybe I'm not, I'm not convinced that's brick though. Okay. Um, okay. Could be that's I'm looking at, it, but they're all like little stone. tiny pieces. Yeah. So yeah. I just dug this little thing. Um, boy, this, this camera really brings out the wrinkles in my hand. I think I'm dehydrated. Um, I think it's brass. Thought maybe a button, but 
Yeah, it could be. Could be a little torn up button. A eagle button or something. Yeah, that's what it is. Nice. So Mike's coming over the hill. We're getting ready to head out. This is probably my last good target of the day. Well, it's not a good sounding target of the day. I'm pretty much at the vehicle. Right in here we have something. Is it in here? <laughs> Sounds like a bullet to me, but I'm not saying that's what it is. Huh, there it is. I just saw it. See it? Right there. Looky. That is a... So this is my last target of the day. It's a gardener. Confederate bullet right here next to the vehicle. Most excellent. That's a great way to end of the day. I'm sure we'll do a little roundup and stuff and show you more of our treasures. Mike did really good today. He found a lot of a lot of good stuff, especially like the last quarter of the day or so. We got into a good spot up there. And we're gonna come back too. You can bet on it. Well, it's the end of the day. I am dog tired. Yeah. Me I think too. you're tired too, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Uh, but we did really good. We got lots of stuff here, and uh, Mike cleaned up on the bullets. <laughs> it's pretty That's awesome. Fun, man. Yeah, let's take a look at him. All right, this is uh, Mike's stuff. He's got some. You haven't really seen any of this, really, Harley. But uh, got some bunch of cleaner bullets in there. Um, that's part of a J hook. Got some little grommets from probably a tent or a yeah. gum blanket or something. Yeah. It's a back to an eagle button. And uh, a couple of those. What else you got? In frag. There? Little, little frag. Oh, yeah, a little baby cannonball fragment. And, oh, the percussion cap, too. Oh, percussion yeah, cap. That, yeah, those are cool. I got a bunch of junk. <laughs> this is all just oh, like uh, some of that's camp I stuff, like probably. This but stuff. yeah, I like these little, little spikes. I'll get them all cleaned up. And uh, got a few bullets here. Got the, that's the Confederate bullet, and that's the pistol ball. You already saw all this stuff. This is kind of one of my, this is my favorite That's find awesome. of the day. <laughs> that brass piece is an inlay that goes on an Enfield rifle, and the soldier put a nail through it for some reason and pitched it. So that's kind of like a, that's my favorite thing that I found. These little rings, I figured it out. This is actually part of a three-piece button, because here's the ring right there, and you can actually see the back of the button a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's got the uh, shank, a couple of buttons, a few shell fragments. What do you think? It was Good fun. day. We want to go back to that spot, you think? Yeah. I, I think <laughs> we keep wanting to get into the other area, but we keep finding stuff yep. there, so we stay. You know, that's yeah. just the way it works. So. We have uh, yeah. more places, to, more places to check out on that farm. All right. We'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, right. Take care. Thanks, Thanks for joining us today. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my 